Hey everybody, Dale here. Taking a ride to Dubois. See my mother in the hospital. She's still in the hospital. She's doing well. Some days good, some days not so good. She's today is the what is today the sixth Monday. 62 degrees, beautiful day. One one o'clock. I just had to stop back there and turn my timer on the on my van back. Alrighty then. My mother is uh, scheduled to get out of the hospital on the ninth of this month, and then go to the nursing home for therapy. I don't know how long she'll be in the nursing home. I don't know if she'll. She's got to get a lot stronger before she can go home by herself. Anyway, we're on Mountain Run Road. you all seen this road before. I didn't make a video last week because I didn't go to the food pantry. I'm going to go this week, though. So Thursday, look out for that. I just thought I'd put you up and let you run right along here. At least the length of this road, see if we see any wild game, maybe some deer. Usually I see something here. Uh, other than that, nothing new. Nothing new. I'm trying to go up to the hospital every night. She, I didn't go yesterday. I, uh, stayed home. I had to, I cut my grass. I wasn't going to, but I cut my grass. I just wasn't in very good shape after that. So I didn't go yesterday. I try and go after two o'clock up the hospital because she has therapy all day and she gets done around two o'clock unless you go early in the morning and my brother and his wife go up every morning. So they got the mornings covered, and then I try and get up there at night. I don't, I'm anxious to see. I know she's going to be depressed about going to the nursing home because she wanted to go home. But I just don't see any way she can be home by herself. And there, I don't. There's no way we can cover 24 hours a day, and for, and we can't. You know, she needs the therapy too. So. I think it's best she goes in the nursing home. It's not what I want either, but I'd like to have her stay home or even come stay with me, but my brother would never allow that to happen. So anyway, just give you a short video today. I, I know I wasn't on since I had a, I went to Walmart over the weekend and got some things and I completely came home and put everything away and completely forgot about making a video. I didn't get all that much stuff but I did spend about 70 bucks. <coughs> so I don't know, I, I went into Walmart and I looked at, when I was in there I was thinking of getting a turkey. I like to cook a turkey for Thanksgiving. No, it's just me. No, I don't even have Wilma. So it's just going to be me, but I like to have leftovers, so I'll probably get about a 15, 20 pound turkey. And I'm waiting for the price to drop. I think they were $1.28 a pound the last time I looked, which isn't terrible bad, but I'm looking to see 98 cents or maybe even 89 cents. So, depends on how I feel when I get out of the hospital tonight. If I might run over there and check out what they got. I don't like to drive at night though, so if I'm up there at 2 o'clock and I leave about 4, I won't have much time to get home before it gets dark. I don't do, you know, I, I, the, light, the headlights bother my eyes. Night. I'd rather just not deal with it if I don't have to, so that's that. Here's the Camp Mountain Run Boy Scout Camp. You can look 
that up on Google if you want. This is where all the Boy Scouts all over the country come when they have camp. And over here to the right is the pistol range. State police can go there to qualify every year or however many times they have to do that. I don't know. Anyhow, it is a beautiful day. We've been lucky. Got cold at night though. We did have a frost. We did have a freeze. Down below 32 last night. 27 I think. But other than that, we're pretty lucky. It's supposed to rain I think in a couple days. Thursday maybe. Food bank day, Thursday it'll rain. Not that I gotta stand outside, but then people who work there, they'll be dressed up in raincoats. One day I went there and it was raining, and one of the guys that puts the food in your car was wearing a piss helmet. If you don't know what that is, look that up, a piss helmet. I thought that was interesting. You don't see that too often. Although it's a good idea, I think. I don't know why it hasn't taken off more around here. You see those in Africa. When you see the African safari hunters. Oh, there's a deer right there. Hi. Two of them. I thought he was going to run out in front of me. So the piss helmet. Interesting that guy was wearing one. Good thing to wear in the rain. Uh, them deer caught me off guard. They were getting ready to come across the road. I hope we caught that on camera. I don't think there was a buck there. I think there were two does. But I'll have to look at the footage when I get home. They come up on you quick, them things. I had one run into the side of my car once. I've hit a few with, you know, front end. But I had one run into the side of my car one time. You never know around here, deer and elk. I even saw a bear, a couple bears get hit. There was one time there was a bear cub that got hit. And it was it was still alive. It didn't get hurt. It was just stunned and it just was sitting there. And you could hear the mother bear off in the off in the woods. Huffing and puffing while we were there firemen were there. They finally got up and took off. A few years ago I had, we had an enormous apple crop. All the trees were loaded with apples. I had six deer and one elk all hit right in front of my house. And I took them garage and cleaned them out. Called the game commission. They gave me a permission slip that I could keep them. You can pick up a roadkill, but you got to call the game commission and they'll give you a, a slip of permit or whatever the hell they call it. And you can keep the meat. But you have to keep it in your own house. You're not allowed to give it away. You're not allowed to sell it has to stay in your house. How they would ever know that, I don't know, but that's the law. It'd be nice if you could get one and cut it up, you know, what do you call it? Skin it, clean it, cut all the meat out, give that to like a food bank, but you can't, you're not allowed, as far as I know, anyway, I know you're not allowed to give it to your neighbors or anything, anyhow, see lots of leaves blowing across the road up here, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, we're on a car, get a car on this curve, that's a sharp curve there. And you can't really see it, but off to the right, there's these bricks that stick out. So if you get too close to the edge of the road, you'll rip the side of your car open, like the Titanic. 
to see a couple deer Saturday I signed up for a Medicare Advantage program see how that works out I gotta get something to cover my prescriptions medical bills are killing me so according to the guy and the book he gave me all my prescriptions are covered zero pay it says I find that hard to believe but we, we shall see and then the doctor visits regular doctor PCP they pay for that so that'll save me tons of money and I, I have to pay an additional $15 on top of the $164.90 that they take out of my social security check which is going up another $10 at the beginning of the year I hear anyway and we get a measly raise this year because they lie and cheat and steal about the inflation it's not 3.8% it's about 40% but anyway that's why they keep that inflation numbers low because they don't want to pay out that raise for social security plus they don't count food and energy in that inflation rate from what I understand which is really stupid since that's the two things most people need most right Okay, now well, we're coming to the end of the road. So I'll see you on Thursday for a food pantry haul, if everything goes right. Stay frosty.